Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny, and I just wanted to come on and share a couple of project shares that I am so excited about. Okay, so, um, 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 uh, uh-oh, where did, the, oh, here it is, duh. Okay, so this die I got, when did I get this and where did I get it from? Oh boy, I don't even remember, but anyway. I fell in love with it. Okay, so I don't know how to explain this, but I didn't fall in love with it looking at it like this. But there was an example of something like this, and that's what I fell in love with. Um, and they had a couple different ones. I will look very hard for where I got this at. Um... And if I can find it, I will put it in the script, but I'm sure a lot of the shops have these. They're very, they're all over the place, but I just loved, I love the idea. Like it, when, when it's sitting, this actually literally spins, like it is the coolest thing. You could do it obviously in any color. I just absolutely love this. And the other great thing about it is if you wanted to just like fold it flat like this and then like that and mail it so it's flat, you can do that. And then when they take it out, you know, just explain to them that they kind of have to fluff it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and then there you go. So it won't cost a ton in, in shipping or anything like that. So I think this is just such a great, great idea. And then I loved also at the top. So it also comes with this heart and it, it scores it in the middle so you can fold it. So the way I use it, I don't know if this is the right way, but the way I did it was I put them in the top here so that there was more gold. So it was the gold wasn't just on the tree. It kind of brought it up into here. Um, but again, you could do it in any color and you could put the hearts all over if you wanted, or you can just cut out one and put it flat on a card, just like you see it here. And I think it would look just as beautiful. So, um, yeah, I absolutely love the way this came out. I th also think this would look really cute on a table or a dresser. Like if you want to just decorate a little Christmassy somewhere, um, I believe I cut out three, how many did I cut? Um, one, two. Oh, maybe. F I don't know. I either did three or four, but I'm not sure. <laughs> and then with the tree, um, as you can see here, they cut out just gorgeous. Um, and then I folded them as well and put them together here. So, and I think I used three for the tree. Um, but I absolutely love this and I just wanted to come on and show you because I think together, like all put together, it, you don't, I don't know, for me, I didn't look at this and see this. So I am in love with this. Um, I think if I am, when I make another one, cause I'm going to be making quite a few of them, I would use a stronger cardstock cause I only use like the 65 um, just because I was playing around, I wasn't really sure how it was going to come out, how to do it. So I didn't want to waste really good paper. Um, but now that it came out and I love it, I now know what I need to do just cause it'll make it a little sturdier. Um, and then you don't have to use so many pieces and glue them together and then fold them and do it this way. So I'm loving that one. So we'll put that on the side and then next we have this guy. Now this is the, um, the gingerbread house from KS craft. Yes. I stupidly ordered two of them, but not so stupid. It turns out because <laughs> when I was cutting these out and I'll show you, like there are so many bits and bobs to cut out. Like, so all of this. So it's actually great that I had the two because it made it super quick. I cut it all together and then I was done and I got the three houses through one pass. So that was awesome. Um, so it doesn't come with all of this. I'll, the, the die comes with one, two, three, four, 
like five, six, seven. So like seven pieces, but like these are include, you know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, so this is how they came out. Now you could do them a bunch of different ways, but I chose to do mine this way and I thought it was adorable. Now I kind of screwed up because the snow piece that hangs on the house actually hangs off of the house, <laughs> but I cut it out in my um, glittery foam and it's sticky on the back. So I couldn't let it hang over because it was like picking everything up and getting stuck to anything it was by. So I just cut it off and then put the snowdrops there. So, but I think it looks adorable and I think either way it would be cute. So right now, and see, I'm getting stuck to myself because this, like I said, it's sticky on the one side. So unless I fold it over and stick it to the house, it's gonna stick on everything. So there we go, very cute. Um, but yeah, so these came out, I think adorable. I love them. They're shakers. Um, and the, this is a shaker. This is a shaker as well. I don't know if you could see it, but there are bits and pieces in there. I think you could probably see them a little bit better in this one. Um, and in this one, I put a little too many cause they don't really shake on the sides, but these do shake the window and the heart. So, and then again, this one. And I love the paper. I think it came out amazing. I used the, um, what was it? The silent night from Michaels. Is that the new paper pad? I don't know, but I absolutely love it. Here are a few of the sheets from that paper pack and it's, Ooh, something just fell in the garbage. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and that's stunning. So there's this one, this one, Sorry for the glare. And this one are the ones that I use for the houses. So, and I will be making a bunch more. Um, yeah, but I will come on and show you as I do them so you can see. Sorry, guys. Something else fell in the garbage and I don't know where the hell it went or what it was. I thought I had two of these bags, but maybe I only had one. Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. But anyway, I will look for it oh, when I'm done. Okay. So last but not least, OMG guys, wait till you see this. Oh, so peachy keen did it again. <laughs> so they have this incredible die and stamp set for sale. Um, I was part of the group that she pre-ordered them because from what I understand, and I could be wrong, but from what I understand, the Peachy Keen, the woman who designed all of these, actually retired. And she came back just to do a few things. And she only did a certain amount. I think she made like 150 of these. And when they were sold out, they were going to be sold out. But I don't know if that changed. I will say that I ordered this and I had to wait for a while for it to come in. Um, and I believe they that 150 went like water. So I don't know if she did more, but it's definitely worth taking a look because the set is incredible. So it comes with, oops, sorry. Let me grab this. So it comes with the die set, which is this, and then the, the face stamps and you get six of them, which I think is incredible. Um, and they're little ones for the faces of these. So I of course cut some out and I will be honest and tell you that I did quite a few of them from the inspiration on the pictures in the front. And I will show you that in just a second. Sorry, I'm getting stuck. So these are the faces that you get, obviously. And then this is the size that it cuts out. And then I got to show you guys because this is just incredible. So I did him. Oh my gosh. How stinking cute is he? And I did the um, candy canes. Then I did, well, him or her, you know, either or. Um, and then I did all, I tried to do all the different faces. I think I did five and there are six faces. So I did five faces. Um, but anyway, and then this guy ugh, or girl, look at how sweet. Oh my, look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And these are all, it comes with all of these pieces that you see. So it comes with the candy cane. It comes with the hollies and the berries, the hats, um, obviously the gingerbread, the little icing for the gingerbread, these little, um, gumdrops, the, to uh, the bow tie, the regular bow, 
uh, it's it is so incredible guys like so incredible so I did that one and then these next two well here I'll show you this one because you know me I had to do one in purple <laughs> just had to how cute is she oh she is just so precious and then this one which of course I stole this idea from this picture right here so what they did was because it comes with the snowball on the hat so what they did was instead of doing um because it does come with the po like ponytails um which I don't have any cut out but it does come with ponytails you could put there but I loved this idea so of course I did her instead of in blue I did her in purple and I just think that came out so cute so it comes with the hair piece right there and then I did the the snowballs with the bows and I just think she is absolutely adorable like I I just cannot get enough of her so my two favorites are these two right here this one and this one I mean I love them all and I obviously I'm going to be making a ton of them um but for right now these two are my absolute favorite absolute favorite I love them I loved how they came out I think they are absolutely adorable and her not having anything right here is driving me nuts so I am going to do like a little light square here just to offset the so much purple and then I'm gonna put a little dot here and a little dot there oh look at how cute I can't stand it <laughs> And then all I did was, um, after I stamped the faces, I went in with the white jelly pen. Um, I did the eyes. I did the white underneath the brows. Um, then I went in with my Spectrum Noir marker, um, did the cheeks, and then I did the white little freckles. And I just think these guys are so sweet and so precious, and I am so in love with them. So let me know what you guys think. Did anybody else get a chance to grab these? Because I usually miss everything. I don't even know how I got so lucky and saw these and ordered them. Oh, guys, this, these are the ponytails that I'm talking about. So it does come with that. And then this is the hair piece. So the hair piece is this white thing that's hanging down right there. Um, and then these are like the ponytails that you can put on. But instead, I used the um, snowballs because I just thought they were so stinking cute. And they showed it in this picture here. Um, but... Everything that you see here is included with that die. Um, let me just show you real quick so you so you know. Because I really didn't go over it, and I probably should have. But see, so here's the large gumdrop, the small gumdrop, the holly, um, the white icing, the snowball, the hat, the bow. This is the rim for the hat. This is the chef's hat, the candy cane. This is the, um, you get two of the um ponytails the smaller like bow tie the center for the bow tie um or even the bow you could put it right there the holly berries the hair and then more of the icing so it comes with every literally everything you see in that picture or in those pictures um is in that die set and then of course you get the um the uh, faces for the stamps but yeah, and then again, these are those six faces. So I don't know how I got so lucky, but I did. I was able to order it. I had to wait a little bit, but even if I was still waiting, getting it is so worth it. So, and because I stupidly put the <laughs> the red holly or the red berries on the red hat, I just kind of outlined it with the white gel, gel pen so that you can see, cause it kind of just all blended in. So um, yeah, so that's that. But let me know um, if you guys like these, which one is your favorite? Um, do you have any of these dies? Um, again, I, I love them all. I think they were so much fun. These were fun to make. Um, I think it'll be better when I can do like the hanging off the roof. I probably should have done that, but I think these are adorable. I think they're great embellishments. You can dress them up any way you want. Um, you know, if you can stick like little lollipops coming off the roof and all kind, whatever you want to do, you can do with that. Um, these are, they, I, I mean, I have nothing. They are just the cutest. And then this. So let me know what you guys think. I, um, again, I love doing them all. I'm going to be doing a ton of these. I cannot wait. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of different ones in these two as well. So we'll see how all that comes out. 
Um, and yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will absolutely help me. Um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing for whatever reason. I have a ton of viewers who view all of my videos, but they're not subscribed. So I'm not, I don't understand that, <laughs> but thank you for the views. I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so if you wouldn't mind considering to subscribe and hit the like button, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, guys. And listen, if you're new to my channel and you have your own channel, leave me a message in the comments so that I can come and check out your channel. Um, cause sometimes it gets a little overwhelming and I, I want to go back and I tell myself, oh, I'm going to go back and check this person out and see the, and then I, I, you know, you get, life gets caught up and I just, I, I don't remember to be quite honest. So leave me a message and then I will go and check it right away and subscribe to you. So, all right. I love you guys. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.